What's up, hustlers? This is your boy JT Hustles back in with another video. Like I told you guys, hey, we're gonna keep it going. Two videos a day, all week long, trying to get to 90,000 subscribers by the end of the week. I'm doing my part, right? I'm recording these videos, editing these videos. What I need the Hustle fam to do is like this video, share this content with anybody you think it could help, and let's run it up and continue to build this community of hustlers, like-minded individuals that are all about legal ways to make more money to better their personal economy so that they can help themselves, their kids, and all of their future generations that come after them. Now, I did a reaction in the past on the window cleaning business and how that's a six-figure business. This is what the thumbnail looks like. And I got a lot of positive feedback on that video. So it was highly requested that I did another follow-up video. And I tell you guys, if you like any of the reactions that I do and have any additional questions and etc., put it in the premiere, put it in the comment section. If there's enough of you guys that are interested in this content, I have no problem doing other reactions, doing other content to try to give you guys enough information to make a comprehensive decision whether or not you want to do this business for yourself. So now that you guys already know that it's a six-figure business, for those of you that don't know that, you can go re-watch the first video now that you know what the thumbnail looks like. This is bare bones, how do you get started what do you need material-wise if you want to move forward and get into this business for yourself? So without further ado, let's get into it. What's up? It's the Shark Damon John here, and I want to shout out JT Hustles. Yo, yo, shout out to JT Hustles for teaching people how to become entrepreneurs on YouTube and all over social media. Uh, it's Keith. Quick little video. I'm going to show you how to start a window cleaning business. Absolutely nothing. I actually just bought a couple things from Lowe's, but I want to walk you over and show you exactly what to do. So, you walk up in Lowe's, Home Depot has the stuff too, but Lowe's has the Ederay brand, which is a lot better. So, you walk over to the cleaning section, and here we go. You grab this for 20 bucks, a squeegee and a scrubber, or you can get the one that articulates, which I like better for when you're using a pole on an angle. See, there's a scrubber. You can grab some Dawn dish soap and vinegar, mix that up, or some squeegee off by Ettery. And then a pole right here, uh, probably an eight foot pole, extension pole. So a squeegee, a scrubber, a pole, a bucket, or a Lowe's bucket because it's blue, and some microfiber towels for 10 bucks. Boom, you're in business. Get some business cards made at vistaprint.com and go knock up and down doors, say, Hi, my name's Joe. I own a local window cleaning business. I'm expanding in this area. Do you have anybody who currently cleans your windows? Yes, no, maybe so. Great, I'll clean your windows for 15 bucks. Yes, no, maybe so. Doesn't matter, keep next, 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 and you can build an entire business in a week. There you go, that's how you start a window cleaning business from nothing. And it takes time to build up that momentum, but I mean, you can really make $500 a day cleaning windows. It really starts with the belief that you can actually do it. And you. $500 a day cleaning windows and you just heard them say like $50 worth of materials. It's crazy. But it's real though, right? Uh, I've personally known people that made more with less. So uh, you got to get out of that mentality if you have the mentality that um, making a lot of money is impossible. It's hard to do. You can't do it. And if you guys saw part one, you know that he started off before he actually even had a legit business, just telling people he had a business and ran up a check. And then, of course, later on, uh, he formed his business and etc. cetera. So um, he started off, you know, really inexpensively. Uh, and then as soon as the business started paying money, then he invested that money back in. And now everything is, you know, structured properly and et cetera, right? Um, but let's keep it going. Believe, most people don't believe anything. I didn't believe it until I went out and did it. And I was like, is this really happening? Is the universe playing a joke on me? You know what I'm saying? Like you literally, the first time you make $500 a day cleaning windows, you feel like the universe is playing a joke on you. Here's the real truth. Here's what it is. I know what it is. Well, at least anybody like me, I grew up extremely poor, poverty, all that bullshit, poverty-minded, victim-minded, loser-ass fucking people yep. trying to brainwash all that shit out of my brain. Yep. But we were brought up to think you gotta get a job. We were brought up to think that 
broke thinking that it's a scarce world. There's no work, no money, and nothing out here. You're lucky if you get a fucking crumb. Bullshit. That's facts. There's facts. so much money and abundance and work out here. It's insane. There's so much work that you can't even do all the work. That's how much work is out there. So True statement. You can absolutely make $500 a day cleaning windows like it's a joke. The real uh, challenge is learning how to grow beyond yourself in leadership and grow a business. Like those are my growing pains right now, learning how to grow a business. So very excited. All right, cool. I got to get back to work. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So, hey, very short and to the point. Ain't even going to take a lot of your time with this one. So uh, you might have that that scarcity or that poverty mindset that he touched on. But again, the value that I hope you get from this is to learn that, hey, if you don't have a Lowe's, maybe you have a Home Depot, maybe you have a Walmart, maybe you have a hardware store uh, nearby. Even if it's not nearby for the amount of money you're making, it's worth taking a trip to Lowe's, Home Depot, hardware store, wherever you got to go to get these sorts of materials. Uh, the link to his channel is down in the description below. Any questions, comments, concerns you have, uh, go hit him up. Put it in the premiere. Put it in the comment section down below. And until next time, so I'm a hustler. Stay hustling. JT Hustles. I'm gone.